Hi, I'm Gary Boitler for the Water Stores Group and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about the Trojan UV Max D4 and specifically how to change the ultraviolet light bulb, how to service the glass sleeve and also how to replace the pre-filter for the, the unit. Simple unit and uh, once you know how to do it, it's pretty easy to change the filter and the ultraviolet bulb so you can easily do it yourself. So the first step is to make sure you've got everything to do the job because once you shut off the water and once you disassemble this unit until everything's put back together again, you don't have any water in your house. So often it's a good idea to plant a little bit of water ahead, maybe fill half a bucket of water that you're going to be using uh, for cleaning the um, filter housing over here, prepare that ahead of time and then prepare all the things you're going to need. You're going to need a bucket like this one, you're going to need um, a brush for cleaning out the inside of the, the, the housing, you're going to need a nice clean rag and some CLR or a similar type product for cleaning the glass sleeve, you're going to need a wrench for removing the filter housing and um, you're going to need a replacement bulb for uh, the to, to replace the ultraviolet light bulb and you're also going to need um, a replacement sleeve just in case because um, you won't know until you take this apart whether that glass sleeve um, can be fully cleaned or if something goes wrong and you happen to crack that glass sleeve you want to make sure you've got a replacement on hand because again you won't have any water in your house flowing until all this has been uh, completed. So the first step is to shut off the flow um, going through the ultraviolet light. So hopefully there's a, a, a ball valve installed ahead of your ultraviolet, uh, the pre-filter, so that you can shut the water flow off or there could be a gate valve. If not, um, you can just shut off the pump so that there's no water flowing through. The next step is you open up a tap anywhere downstream of the ultraviolet light bulb to relieve any pressure that's built up inside this whole system. Open up the tap, relieve the pressure, and then you can close it again. Then the next step is um, to, usually the pre-filter has a little button on the top. You can press that also just to make sure you've relieved any pressure through here. So once you've done that, now we need to drain the system. So the first step is to using um, the um, filter uh, canister wrench is to uh, put it on here and unscrew this. Now often these are quite tight, so I always suggest that you hold back the, um, the mounting on the um, filter canister as you're unscrewing this um, so that you don't rip the whole thing off the wall. So you, you start, you're loosening it up with this wrench and then you put your bucket underneath and then you unscrew it and uh, drain all the water out of this housing, remove the old filter, but it will also drain the water um, through some of the ultraviolet um, um, itself, but also the, the water that's in the plumbing will also drain out to some degree. So be prepared, you might get a little bit more water than you originally thought you would draining out at that time and let it drain till it stops. Then we want to unplug the ultraviolet light um, so that uh, there's no electricity running through this whole thing. Once we've done that and the unit's draining over there, then you can um, start to remove the, the um, bulb itself. So there's a safety cap on the end, you just squeeze in the sides and uh, pull that off. And then the uh, electrical connection, you just wiggle a little bit and pull that off. You can leave the strain relief um, on the side here, that's fine. And then you see a big black nut here. So all you do is unscrew that black nut. And again, you may want to have a bucket or a, a small uh, container here to capture any extra water that may flow out at this point. There won't be a lot. So you remove the glass sleeve and the bulb as one unit uh, from the ultraviolet light. Okay, so at this point you can take the, your, your rag and your CLR and uh, clean this glass sleeve and it should come exactly clean. It should be uh, as it was when it was brand new. And if it doesn't come clean, then you'll have to replace that glass sleeve. So the next step is to remove the ultraviolet bulb. So you can unscrew the bulb from the center of this, uh, of this uh, bolt and uh, pull it right out. Toss it out, put your new one back in. And, uh, and then you just hand tighten it. Now make sure at this point that the little rubber O-rings have a little bit of water on them. I'm sure they will because it was wet before, but just double check that. Make sure they're nice and snug. And again, you just hand tighten the bulb into the bolt. 
and then clean the outside, clean any fingerprints you might have gotten onto the glass sleeve, remove them at this point, and then slide the glass sleeve back inside here, make sure it's centered, and then you screw it back in. Again, hand tight is fine. Put the cap back on it. It has this ring here that, that moves a little bit, and uh, you can use that. Push that all the way back on, and then you can put the cap back on. And then you can go ahead and plug in the electrical, because now we're done with the electrical. Plug that in, and uh, this should reset to 365. If it doesn't, you may have to push this button. If you have a C4 Trojan, it won't have this window to reset, so you don't have to worry about resetting it. All you do is plug it in. These lights will flash for a little bit, just to show that it's going through the warm-up cycle. So while that's going on, you can go over here, and uh, you can wash out this uh, canister that you've removed. Uh, remove the wrapping from the new filter, put the new filter inside here, and screw this back on here. Again, you only have to make this hand tight, but make it as tight as you can, hand tight and uh, to close that off. So once all that's done and these lights have now gone green, everything is operational. So now you open up the ball valve ahead of this to allow the water to fill up the whole system. Only open it partially so it fills it very slowly. That way if you do have any leaks, you can spot, you can spot them quickly. You can shut this off and repair the leak before you go any further. Once this has been all filled, um, then what you can do is you can open up the, the, the valve that's after this unit, servicing the whole house, and, uh, and then you can open up this valve fully to repressurize everything. Once all this is repressurized, um, the ultraviolet light is on, then the next step is to open up a tap, um, somewhere, laundry tub, bathtub, something like that. Allow about two waters, two gallons of water to flow through the system to make sure you get rid of any impurities that might have been introduced from the, um, the pre-filter to the ultraviolet light, and then you're done. That's the process. It, this will reset to 365, so it'll count down, and you know you have to do this again in another year. If you like what you saw today, please check out our website at waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.